um, I remember driving into the village, looking looking at the Olympic rings, and then the there's this street with all the um, countries, all the flags of the countries at the Olympics. That just hit me, and I was like, wow, I'm really here, getting ready to represent my country. 18-year-old Olympian Michele Schalmein has been celebrated for her exploits in the pool after recording a personal best time and breaking the national record at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. The team finished second in her heat with a time of 26.99, a 0.28 improvement on the national record, which she set some two years ago. Charlemagne says she went into the race with intentions to hone her craft. Going in, my two goals were to um, swim a personal best time and also to just go into the meet open-minded, taking in as much as possible so that it can make me a better athlete um, as I continue my career. But um, I, due to COVID, I was not able to compete in as, as many meets as I would like to. So that was something that I had in the back of my mind. But I also remember, I also told myself that I start, I started a new school two years ago and the training has increased, so that, so, um, that was kind of motivating for me. Charmaine was met with a warm welcome upon her return to St. Lucia over the weekend. Incoming Rosile MP, Kenson Kazomer says the teen is a role model worthy of emulation by other youngsters, including his children. Swimming and track and field for me, they had a maths of English, maths and English of our sporting development. They should form the foundation of how we develop our athletes because I had the privilege of living in Grosley and doing a lot of swimming and of course doing a lot of track and field and my strength as a cricketer came from my shoulders and back and that I attribute that to swimming and as somebody who never really got into a swimming program, I have developed an absolute love for swimming. I have twin girls that are into swimming and they've heard your name for sure. And of course, you have presented yourself as somebody they could emulate. Member and the past president of the St. Lucia Olympic Committee, Richard Peterkin, highlighted the grueling journey undertaken by athletes to qualify for the Olympics. You must be glad in a sense to be back from Tokyo because I know what it was like. A lot of people don't understand how tough it is for young athletes generally, what they have to go through in order to represent their country. They think it's a sky bar. Um, and it's been years in the making, you've worked hard, you've represented your country, you've represented your, your sport, and the Olympic Committee had no hesitation in putting you forward for a position to go and, and to assist you in every way that you can. President of the St. Lucia Swimming Association, Brian Charles, says the organization encountered some challenges on the road to the Tokyo Games. I don't know if it's swimming, but... It's like every time we have a national team ready to leave our shores to go and represent us as a people, there is always tremendous trials and tribulations that follows um, the St. Lucia national swim team. And I've always been a part of it. Um, from our unlucky events in um, um, reaching up to um, Peru, where <laughs> under all the odds, we came out in flying colors. Michele now went to Tokyo, and again all, again, all odds, starting with her own personal affairs, she came out and she made all of us proud. Jean-Luc Zephyr also competed in the 100-meter freestyle. He clocked a final time of 51.94, placing 54th overall out of 71 swimmers. The association vows to work with swimmers in a bid to increase the number of qualifiers for the 2024 Olympics. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.